Good day! Yun lang ang seminar regarding environmental awareness to save Mother Earth. Specifically, we're about to discuss the effects of water pollution, not only in the health of humans, but also to all organisms. Have you ever been on the shore of a lake or at the sea and seen a sign, no swimming, polluted water? At the spring, have you seen the notice, water unsafe to drink? This is because of water pollution. So here's the topic of our seminar. Water, pollution, water pollution, and ways to prevent water pollution. So to discuss the meaning of water and pollution, let's call on Mr. Jose Leandro Pascual. So hi guys, I'm Jose Leandro Pascual and now we will start our discussion. First, we will discuss about water. So guys, what is water? What do you think water is? Water is essential for economic growth, human health, and environment. So in this picture, we're going to discuss water is for people, water is for food, water is for nature, and water is for other use. So we can say that water is everything. It gives life to us and to all organisms. Next. Water in the Philippines, we have different kinds of bodies of water. This is inland water, bay water, and territorial water. So first, we will discuss about the inland water. So what is inland water? This is a water of any waters just like lake, canals, river, water resources, and inlet. So in this picture, we can see that this kind of bodies of water is within the state. So we can call it inland water. Next is bay water. A bay water is a body of water connected to an ocean or lake formed by an indentation of the shoreline. In this picture, we can, we can see that the bay water is on the side of, of sea or in the shoreline. It's like in this picture. The bay water, we can find the bay water here in this part where we can see the land and the water being connected. Next is the territorial water. Territorial water is mainly sea water. So, territorial, territorial water is the water we can see beyond a state, which we can see on the map, the formation or the 70% of water that the, that the world have. So next, we will discuss about that pollution. Pollution is a introduction of a contaminant into the natural environment that causes adverse change. Pollution can take the form of chemical substances or energy such as noise, heat or light. Pollutants, the components of pollution can be either foreign substances, energies or natural occurring contaminants. So we can see that pollu pollution is the cause or the effect of pollutants. So there are different kinds of pollution, the air pollution, the land pollution, and the water pollution. So this picture is being captured by us, the, semin the one who will conduct seminar. This picture is being shot on San Palak Lake in San Pablo City, Laguna. So we can see that this kind of bodies of water is so serene and so beautiful in the eyes of the foreign and even though in the one who lives in that place. But beyond this beauty of the scenery, there's a lot of secrets behind that. And these are the, the mosses, the thrushes that can cause fish kills and the destroy of that scenery. So what do you think is the cause or the product of this kind of um, human activities? So to discuss the main topic of this seminar, we will call on now Mr. Sonny Larito. So the reason why you're watching this seminar is of course to know the meaning of water and water pollution and also the ways on how to prevent. So water pollution is the contamination of waters or the bodies, the bodies of waters, the lake, rivers, oceans, aquifers, and groundwater. 
this form of environmental degradation occurs when pollutants are directly or indirectly discharged into water bodies without adequate treatment to the removed harmful compounds. So what are these pollutants that cause water pollution? So number one is the crop trees. The illegal disposals of waste of those crop trees that can cause water pollution and can cause death, death to the living organism or the organism in the water. So next one is the garbage of trash or trash that are being of course thrown in the water by the humans. So we humans are doing that. Thing. So next one is the laundry. And then of course it is caused by the people who lives beside the rivers. Next. So if these kind of activities will not stop those which I have mentioned earlier, what do you think will happen to us? So this is the most important thing that you must bear in your mind. So next is water crisis. So yeah, so you will see the picture. There will be a water crisis if those activities are not being Next, the food crisis. So of course, we all know that the food that we eat came from plants. So plants uses water for them to, to undergo the process of photosynthesis. So it could be if the water are not present, so they will not be able to undergo photosynthesis and will cause the crisis. Next one is so of course I have mentioned that the, of course the factories, the oils can cause death to the marine biomes. Next one is of course the major effects of water pollution is death to all organisms who lives under under the bodies of water. And also, it can affect us humans. So, next. So, by looking at those pictures, what do you think we can do to prevent water pollution? So, you, as a human, of course, you have to bear in mind the things that we will discuss to you later. And it will be discussed to us by Miss Princess Jane Watt. So we're down to the last topic of this seminar, the ways to prevent the water pollution. So the first is the process of segregate. We all know that segregate is the process of separating the trash that is biodegradable and non biodegradable. And we all know that trash is one of the major causes why we're experiencing like this, like water pollution. Yes, of course, right? The next one is recycle. So recycle is also a process creating a new product from used materials. So as we can see, we have three arrows here. So the first is recycle, reuse, and reduce. It simply helps us, of course, to reduce the trash that came from a human activity that will cause us some major problems that will affect our lives, right? Compost pit. Compost pit is one of a simple way that we can do to reduce our trash. We can do it for our backyards. We just dig land and put the trash there. So that trash, if it will decompose, then it acts as fertilizer. Yes. Lastly, the most prominent way to, to prevent or to lessen this kind of phenomena is discipline. Discipline, as we can see, is just composed of eight letters in one word. But of course, this is the most powerful word that we can do. It is in our own hand, right? Discipline. We, as a human, created God with discipline. So of course, we must cope up with it. So thank you for watching and listening to our enjoy and learn a lot from us so I have some quotes for you guys no water no life no blue no green so that was the our hashtag 
global goals. So, till our next meeting, thank you! Bye-bye!